Time for the big boys, the PFL Heavyweight Championship. This is the only matchup that doesn't feature a top seed. Number three seed, Felipe Linz, battles the only eight seed remaining, Josh Cuddly Bear Copeland. Also known as Monstro, Linz stopped all three of his opponents in the PFL this season. So, boss, what has to happen for Linz to come out on top and be a champion? Well, like you already said, this guy is good everywhere, right? Knocking out Alex Nicholson, uh, knocked out in the second round, then he's fighting his, uh, his teammate, Kyle Allencar, submitted him by way of submission. So we know he can do it all. Then he knocked out Jake Rorschach. I mean, this guy, he is on the roll. Now, in Copeland's last two fights, we saw Copeland coming forward the whole time. And this means that Linz is going to need footwork as well. He's normally a little flat-footed on his feet, and he's a really great striker, but he needs to change that. He needs to be on the balls of his feet. Now, I wouldn't clinch with Copeland if I was Linz. I would use footwork, angles, keep Copeland on the outside of his strikes. Linz can either stand on his feet, use a lot of footwork on the balls of his feet and angles because Copeland will be in his face, or he can simply go for a takedown and see if, see if he can pull off a, knock, uh, a submission. Cuddly Bear Copeland is the lowest seed left. What does he have to do to cap off this miracle run and win the PFL heavyweight title? Man, I love the cuddly bear, man. What a story this guy is. His first fight of the season, he <laughs> lost against Jack May by TKO. Then he beat Sean Jordan by decision. And then he beat Franci Barbarossa, the number one seed. This guy made a complete transformation. Ooh, we're going to see a very dangerous fighter. He needs to come forward, like I said, because Linz is the better striker than him. But he also needs to be ready for counters from his opponent. So when he throws a combination, move back, let the opponent's counter miss, and then go back forward again. But you can never give Linz too much space because then again he's got you on the outside and that could be dangerous for him 